Alrighty everybody, today we're going to be doing a fire start video and I actually have things laid out a little nicer. So that way, remember how I said before to prep everything? I have a pile of ferro rod scrapings. Gotta tell you, probably the worst part about actually getting all those is being able to scrape it all without getting the sparks to burn it all up. Because, um, it happens. Then I have birch bark, and then a ton of twigs, different types of twigs. You always try to make sure that you grab something that snaps. That's the driest wood that you want to start with. And then in here, we have our punk wood, which it's that dry, it's the wood that used to be rotting, and now it's dry, so it's not rotting anymore, but it just flakes. And then I grabbed some of the char pieces from the fire pit. Had to move it a little bit. <laughs> and I crushed it up and put it on top of the, the punk wood. So now I'm going to take and carefully get the ferro rod shavings into my little nest. And because of the way this is, I'm actually going to drape this around it so it's like a backstop so when the flame comes up when it hits all the ferro rod scrapings it'll hit the birch bark and light it and then I'll be able to put the twigs on as I need to alrighty One thing that was cool is we found this on the hike up. It was sitting off the side of the trail, like just a piece of junk that someone threw out. So I was like, you know, that'd make a good fire pit. It was easy, accessible, and it would keep the area safe. It doesn't have a bottom, so I've been tracking. You guys can see where it was. It actually spreads out even when you have a side barrier. So always watch your root fires. Make sure that you always clear all the junk out and try to make sure that nothing's gonna catch because you can see how far this burns in. You gotta check the heat around your fire pit and feel if there's any steam coming up or if there's any root fires starting. Most people don't realize that that's actually how a lot of forest fires start it is from a campfire that became a root fire and sprang up two, 300 feet away and now the forest is on fire. You guys know I'm all about the fire safety, so always make sure it's contained. But there you go. Fire started. We're ready to make some breakfast. And until next time, get out there, be a native, go beast.